when we recognize the unity of all living things, then at once arises the question, how can we support this life of ours with least injury to the life around us? How can we prevent our own life adding to the suffering of the world in which we live? We find amongst animals as amongst men the power of feeling pleasure, the power of feeling pain. We see them moved by love and hate. We see them feeling terror and attraction. We recognize in them powers of feeling sensation closely akin to our own. And while we transcend them immensely in intellect, yet in mere passional characteristics, our natures and animals are closely alive. We know when a wound is inflicted, that wound means pain to them. We know that threats bring to them suffering. They have a feeling of shrinking, of fear, of absence of friendly relations. And at once, we begin to see that in our relations to the animal kingdom, a duty arises, which all thoughtful and compassionate minds should recognize. The duty that because we are stronger in mind than the animals, we ought to be their guardians, their protectors, not their tyrants and oppressors. And we have no right to cause them suffering.